And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Sejuani to start the day off this morning. Um, this is uh, a fun deck. You know, we played it about a week ago. I was really impressed with how it looked. Definitely my kind of deck. You know, this is an aggressive mid-range deck with some uh, top-end cards that are great. Our champions, we have Vladimir and Sejuani. Um, you know, definitely my kind of deck. Uh, really like those cards and just like these Freljord and Noxus uh, cards combined. A couple cool things in here. Um, well, what, all right, well, uh, we'll start with our uh, some questionable cards. We have the Unscarred Reavers is the one drop, which is not a very good card. This is a card that's really poor to draw late. Um, and just overall, it's not a very good card. However, this deck really does reward being aggressive. And so having a one drop, like if we don't have Omen Hawk, I want we have a couple extra copies of a one drop to be able to play. It's something that doesn't just uh, it doesn't just have one toughness, which a lot of other one drops have, because we don't want our our one drop just to die to every little thing. And Unscarred Reaver can make some of our other cards a lot better. You know, it can make like Death Lotus a lot better. It it does make um, Imperial Demolitionist a lot better. It's a lot you know like when you play. You know, like if you if this is your only two drop, you still kind of want to play it on turn two to be aggressive. But you know, it's either kill Omen Hawk or, or most of the time not have anything to target. So having Unscarred Reaver on turn one and then this on turn two can turn this into being a three two, and then that's perfectly fine. Um, but then other things, you know, like uh, Ember Maiden can get uh, better with Reaver. And same with Vladimir. You know, like you want a lot of units in play whenever you attack with Vladimir because you want to be. Uh, dealing damage to them and dealing damage to that enemy nexus. That's the important thing. We're trying to deal damage to that enemy nexus. So just getting more bodies out there. You know, it's just a one mana card. There will be times you draw it in the mid or late game that, that it, you know, it doesn't really do anything. But it helps enable some of the other cards. Um, um, also, we have uh, Babbling Bjerg. Here, when I'm summoned, draw a unit with 5 plus power. Our, we have two units with 5 plus power. We have Vladimir and Sejuani. So we're always drawing a champion with our Babbling Bjerg. And, and we don't even have any cards that pump up. Uh, I guess we have Omen Hawk. Okay, so we have one card that pumps up our other stuff. But there's no 4 power anyway, so it doesn't matter. So we're always drawing Vladimir or Sejuani. And uh, we're trying Scar Mother Varenna this time. Last time we tried Cat of the Arm. Which we never really drew, never really did anything with. But I, I like Cat of the Arm a lot. But we're, we're going to try Scar Mother Verena. This is a card that I haven't played very much of. But it could be really nice, you know, with the Overwhelm. It's obviously pairs great with Vladimir. And uh, it's not a five power um, threat. So Babbling Beard doesn't draw it. So that's kind of nice that it's it's a big threat at the top end. But it's not something that we grab from Babbling Beard when we want to grab our champions. So let's see how it goes. Vladimir is a fun card to play. Has been kind of on the the back burner for a while. Let's see if we can you know get our uh, Vladimir deck to be pretty competitive. Yes, I am playing the no champion Noxus Ionia deck. After all, yeah, we talked about it yesterday. Yeah, so Noxus Elusives. That's going to be my third deck today. All right, thanks, Scrubblord. Thanks for thanks for stopping by, saying hi. Have a good day at work. And yes, after we play our, our four decks today, yeah, we're gonna try some Monster Train, a new card building deck or deck building game. There you go. It's a new deck building game. That'll be fun. We'll just kind of do that as a, a stream thing. Um, I've never played before. It'll be fun. Uh, Timo Sejuani. Unscarred Reaver. Darn. This has been a great Unscarred Reaver uh, hand. The winter's claw strikes. Yeah, Spooky Mage Seekers is good. Yeah, all, all the decks we're playing today, these are all decks that I enjoy. 
Uh, oh, the Twisted Visor donation deck. I didn't put that up there. There we go. Okay. War Mason, reporting for duty. For the glory of Noxus. So Juani's at two out of five. So do I do I sacrifice Imperial Demolitionist to do three damage? That's the question. If I attack like this, they to for them not to take damage, they have to attack. They have to block with Puff Cat Peddler. No, I think I keep Demolitionist alive. Okay. You know, with having Vladimir, it's good to have extra things to stay alive. Who goes there? I've dressed for the occasion in red. Fear beyond. Ugh, that was a good turn for them. Okay, two Starlet Seer triggers and Popcat Peddler trigger. Attacking with you or not. So let's see if they have the 5-5 five, five block here. Let me do this. <clears throat> so will probably have the 5-5 five, five block Sejuani. And right. Uh, I guess that does kill Sejuani because of the Vladimir trigger. And then they'd block here, kill that. This is kind of messy. Maybe I just do this. Kind of hope they have a <clears throat> spell on top and not a unit that they draw that has plus four, plus four now with the double Starless here. Hopefully it's just a spell. So, Winter. blessed by snow and stars. Let's get a draw. No mercy for cowards. I'll prove myself to the war mother. Clear it out. All right. Very good chance this is lethal with all these tricks that we have in hand. I'll be kind of surprised if it isn't. That would mean. Honestly. Ah, an auspicious 
season. This would be a good winter. We can really pump up the Scar Mother Verena, the Scar Mother Verena, a lot. Blessed by snow and stars. This would be a good winter. Yes, of course. Ah, an auspicious season. We're next doing some crazy stuff. Snow and stars. Let's not ruffle our feathers. This would be a good winter. But I'm not sure it matters. Blessed by snow and stars. Okay, where are they at? All right, so they're going down to five. So what if we play that thing? They go down to one. All right, well, what if we play? One suffers, another thrives. This thing. They go down to negative four. All right, that sounds good. Negative four sounds good. And we get the cool Vladimir level up animation, and we're gonna get the cool Sejuani level up animation. I cannot be broken. The winter's claw endures. And the winter's claw endures. Motive. And destroy everything. Winter's Claw triumphs. That was pretty sweet. Alright, Scar Mother Rena definitely looked really good there. Yeah, Scar Mother Rena certainly helped us. You know, got to deal damage, overwhelm damage through the 8-7. Hmm. This kills Fizz. I kept this the last game because it killed Teemo. This kills Fizz now. So do I keep it again? Or Mulligan? It's probably not doing a whole lot besides killing Fizz. Maybe I'm Mulligan. Hmm. Yeah, Monster Train. It's a new deck building game. Um, I've never played it before, but yeah, it's a new game. It just came out like last week. Bounty Ball knows me now. Yeah. Similar kind of similar to like Slay the Spire. If you know Slay if you know Slay the Spire. Let's get to it. All right, Crimson Disciple. Three drop. No, only love. This is my deck. No, I make my own decks. Same deck we played last week, a week ago. With Vladimir Sejuani. And it looked good then. We went 4-1 with me kind of messing up one of the games last time. Ooh, that could be good. Turn this thing into a 4-3. I guess I, pro I should, probably should just be blocking the 2-2, like if I Ember Maiden and then just kill that. Like I knew I couldn't I couldn't stop them from plundering. But I probably should have just blocked the T2. You started without me. Uh 
This is a good hand. One mana three threes are pretty good. It does make Ember Maiden kind of worse, right? Because if I play Ember Maiden, then the Crimson Curator goes down to three toughness, so then it doesn't get to uh, kill these things. But I do have Elixir of Irons that <clears throat> need to get some work in. Hmm. I know like how good Ember Maiden is right now. Kills my Omen Hawk. That forces me to preemptively use. This is a real spin to win. All right, how does this work? Round start. So I have to like preemptively use my Noxion Fervor right now. And kill a 3-3. Three, three. Destruction feeds my fire. So I'm not sure how it would work, like if I you know, like if I did the three damage to the slot ball, like which one of these round starts would happen first. It looked like my round start actually happened first, so I guess I could have maybe killed the slot bot. Potentially. Hello, my darling. Let's get to it. I assume you've come for me. Mm. Should have played Vladimir. Just had these things, just like Death's Hand, this 2 2. There's fashionably late, and then there's this. I'm worried about blocking, and then they play Make It Rain, and then put the Vladimir at, like, one damage. And then... Elixir of Iron no longer saves it. I can try to level up the Vladimir, I guess. This, this would get Vladimir to four. So they do have a Make It Rain. Um... If they have Mega Rain, then Vladimir levels up, so then he gets regeneration, so then it's all good. So yeah, now that's that's a really good play against Mega Rain. Blah. Pilfer Goods is so good. I just have four of my cards now. This thing's a 5-5? Five, five? Ugh, I drew so many cards. Come, Clara, we have much to teach you. I can't wait. So they're gonna try to twisted fate, do one damage to everything? Hmm. 
So if I attack out, they take six automatically. One suffers, another thrives. I don't care to change. Seven. Don't want to take any overwhelm damage. Gonna block with this thing that has regenerate. We have to survive this turn. Like, they're very dead the next turn. I thought that, you know, at being at 8, I wasn't too scared of surviving this turn, but... You know, then they then they played... A 8-6 Fizz. So I guess the answer is we're not surviving this turn. Come on, 8-6 Fizz. Alright, so my, my biggest regret that game is not just doing the Noxion, Noxion Fervor on the slot bot. I didn't know how it was going to work. You know, we could have turned the, the slot bot into being one health. And then I didn't know how it was going to work with the round start and with... Like, you know, they both, like, they, they're both round start cards, right? Like, the slot bot's a round start card. My thing that does one to everything's a round start card. I didn't know how that was going to work. But even if I would have attacked out like the previous turn, I don't I wasn't gonna kill my opponent. We we needed one more turn to kill them. So I did I did the best defense that I could to stay alive for one more turn. However, just Fizz just does that sometimes, I guess. A power fizz. I think I like this hand. I've got this. It's kind of unfortunate that we're not. Um, you know, we won't really be able to attack with this unscarred reaver that gets pumped until round five. Honestly. You'll regret when I live this. Oh, I can't wait. Blades, custom 
Yuck. Yuck. Fire knows its own. Hey, Toki Mets. I I don't think I've played Karma Thrash in a little while. I don't think I've played it since the patch. I would be surprised if it's not. Um, still viable. Rad, you can check out. You have you have questions about stuff. You can check out the Mobilitics stat page. These are the best, and then you know look for. Um, what Ionia Shadow Isles? You can kind of see. Try to find a threat. Thresh. Uh, Thresh Karma deck. The winter's claw strikes. I'll do my best. Uh, there really isn't any Thresh Karma decks, is there? Huh. That's actually kind of weird. There's no Thresh Karma decks on there. This Vanguard Defender is a problem. So I could save the Ember Maiden, but I'm just gonna let it die. Trade. For justice, for Demacia. You must be Lord Vladimir. And you must be Supper. George! One's mine. One suffers another pride. Yes, I could use the Elixir of Iron to save that thing, but again, I think that saving my champions is the most important thing. I think I want to save my Elixir of Irons for my Vladimir, my Sejuani. Obviously, I hope this just works. Two more months till the next regen. Did they finally announce like a date for the next regen? I have the name. I need the reputation. Mm. I'll wait my, till my turn for Sejuani um, to get the vulnerable. I'm actually here. Hmm. Can't save that. If it was just single combat, I could. But it was not. Pain is nothing. It's dangerous out there. Take this. Onward. 
Okay, so August Today is whenever it's going to drop. I learned my scars. Yeah, I did see that they, they said they're planning on doing new cards every two months. It's like, you know, we're going to get a new, new, uh, um, new, like, rank season and new cards every two months. It's going to add up to be a lot of cards fast, it feels like. I don't know if they're going to have, like, a rotation after a while, or, or what. Been a long path to get here. A real battle! I'm really glad they don't have one more mana. If they had one more mana and were able to cast four Demacia, I'd be in even more trouble. We're already in some trouble here. There is no best deck to climb, Yorinato. I don't like one health Sejuani. You can check out Yorinato if you want, you can check out uh, Mobilytics has like a stats page that you can kind of do some reconnaissance on. I'm a smith, not a soldier. Hands are for forging, not fighting. Beaten down. Fight for All right, they're down to two. We got leveled up, Sejuani. <laughs> yeah, bird tribal, best deck. Discipline and steel. Yep, exactly. If you any deck, like if you pilot it well, um, can climb. You know, it's, you pilot it well, some stuff kind of goes your your way. You climb with anything. Oh no. I just lost. Yeah. I went back to back. You know, pump spells don't don't affect the board. Back to back. Stand strong. And yeah, game's over now. Dang. Didn't think we we're gonna be losing this, but yeah, they just had four more things. Even just a, a something with direct damage would have frostbitten all their stuff. Ugh. Yeah. That's how it goes. Yeah, I didn't think we were losing that one. I 
I really didn't think I was going to lose that ever. Wow, but all right. Guess we did. We've not been getting good hands. There we go. Now our hands a whole lot better. You know, like Omen Hawk, Crimson Disciple. Like Crim Crimson Disciple is like our best card to see in our opening hands. And we've never, like we haven't seen it. I guess, I think the very first game that we won, I think we had Crimson Disciple on too. I, walk my path alone. I think. Everyone bleeds for the right prize. Fast as wind, light as air. With quiet steps, the dragon approaches. It's nothing personal. You act, but do not see. Ugh. Should have used the other elixir of iron. We drew a new one. Order, entropy, a never ending cycle. They're just definitely going to have protection for that thing. Hello, my darling. So I didn't want to use, so the problem with using the Elixir of Iron was that then I'd only have one mana left and, you know, curving with Vladimir into Sejuani. I'd only have one mana and I didn't have another one mana protection spell for those. Yeah, obviously, I wish I would have. Now, it's drawing another elixir of iron. Round and round and round it goes. Tread lightly, strike hard. Dang, what a hand for them. I mean, if I just don't play my Vladimir early, right? Like, I could just wait till after they attack before I play my Vladimir. And then, so if they do something like that, then I'd have my Noxion Fervor available and just wait for them to do damage. Like, that's just me being impatient. Yeah, that's just me being impatient. But... But Heimerdinger is amazing if you get if you get a great Heimerdinger hand. It's one of the very best cards in the game. Alright, we got Crimson Disciple on turn two. I like it. Go the Ruthless Raider on turn two to wait till I have like transfusion to protect disciple. The winter's claw hey, Mr. Quesitos, Quis uh, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How are you doing? Oh, 
Bob bleeds for the right prize. Okay, finishing up work. Very nice. Oh, I can't wait. Like today is just like yesterday. No, I don't think the War Mother's callbacks are particularly good. Dressed for the occasion in red. Um. Eight damage to the Out. I, Mr. Quasos, I play. I just play a very wide variety of decks for, for people that like different things. So, um, yeah, just because I play one deck doesn't mean I really think it's better than, than other decks or, or so on. But yeah, I just play, you can see like my schedule here. Every, every day I play four different decks. Um, So basically, yeah, like whenever I'm playing one deck, it doesn't mean. Oh my gosh. Just levels up Ezreal some more. Yeah. Doesn't mean that I uh, think that this, you know, like whatever deck I'm currently playing is better than every other deck. And so on. They do have those. They do have all these spinning axes that they could use if they want to use. They have to use two spinning axes, which 
Which, yeah, that would get, you know, basically that'd be four cards, you know, like another. Okay, they're just going to put it down to one toughness. One health. Hmm. Talking about earlier that there's going to be times where you just draw Unscarred Reaper in the late game and it looks really bad. It's just going to happen. I've got these. I'm so good, I surprised myself. I thought you'd never ask. Or die. It's not bragging if you could back it up. <laughs> it did have a great hand. My opponent. Firing. It's just a darling. They really did have a great hand. The Scar Maidens will know my name. I can't imagine that this actually like that I actually get to do damage. Yeah, I mean all they have to do is play one thing. Well, the other card they had in their hand was lethal, but I guess they have another thing. Their last two losses <laughs> were to decks that aren't any good. Like I know I, I don't I know I say that that like you know basically everything can win like this game is so even, but those last two losses those were decks that we will beat a really vast majority of the time we're going to be winning, but they just kind of had everything and. Uh, yeah, like that, that's just kind of how that ha that worked. I would love to play both of those last decks again. Like I've I've never like seen the elite decks like ever beat stuff, but we lost, and yeah, then that one. Um, so super, super frustrating. You know, like those those are those are really the the frustrating losses. Like decks that you know that you. Um, you will be winning a large majority of the times, but, you know, it's, not, it's what we call variance. Like, it's, even if we would win seven out of ten times against them, that's still 30% of the time that we we're losing, and that's, you know, that's one of the 30%. And that's just kind of what, what happened. Um, that's still, yeah, you don't win 100%. So that's just how, how these card games go, and and now the frustrating thing about my business is, you know, I now I upload a video and it says one one in four, and then people are like, eh, that deck's not any good. I don't want to watch it. Sometimes your opponents just have it all, you know, and that's how it goes. I like this deck. Um, this is a deck that I play off stream you know like i did i you know obviously i play a whole lot of different decks and so i don't play everything off stream like there's a just a, a small handful of decks that i really enjoy that i play off stream and this is one of them uh, but there we go all right um vladimir sejuani those of y'all watching on youtube um you know leave those comments let me know uh what you think of the deck and uh, how how it's been going for you if you've been playing it yourself um yeah i always like seeing those positive comments and yeah that's that that'd be nice all right but anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video